Noob Noob, the question is to poo or not to poo? Let's be together, together in poo. So, Noob Noob and I recently saw Black Widow. He saw it in theaters. I saw it on Disney Plus. Paid for that fat package. I got such a bigger amount of poo. So much poo. This is a full screen of poo. But we have wildly different reactions to this movie. Um, And I guess we'll start with your reaction. What did you think? I thought it was awesome. Just awesome sauce. Yeah. Top 10 Marvel movie, honestly. Top 10 Marvel movie. Uh-huh. Hmm. Scar jo was actually attractive until she went blonde. Mm-hmm. Uh, Pew was uh, nice and... You know, that's a little manly right there, that picture. I'm not, not a fan of that. But her face, if you just look at her face at certain angles in just this particular movie at certain points in time, she's sort of attractive. Hmm. Uh, and, uh, yeah, there was action. Wasn't coherent action, but hey, you know what? What do you want? And beware, there will be spoilers in this. But what I I'm very torn on this one. I think this is a movie that is uh, written and directed by inexperienced people. I think it shows. I think there's a lot of plot holes. I think it's the only redeeming quality to the movie is the cast. The cast I thought was really good, but this is this is not a good. It's not even a good Marvel movie. It's barely a good movie. And to illustrate those reasons, I will be asking you five questions, noob noob, to see whether or not this is a good movie, or if you even paid attention to the movie, or were just too busy staring at That's some poo. the poo face. Oh god, Florence Poo. Pew. Pew. Pew poo. poo. So can you tell me, Noob Noob, uh-huh. what is Black Widow's sister's name? Uh, uh Poo? Mm-hmm. Who's what is her name in the movie? Uh, Elena. I think. Elena. Elena. Yeah, it's Elena. It's Yelena. Is it really? It is Yelena. Yelena, yes. not Elena. Yes. I, and does she have enough. a cool code name? No. Nothing like that. Oh, shit. She doesn't. Wait, no. No, she doesn't. What about her mom? What is her mom's name? Uh, R- Rachel Wise. <laughs> you have not even a guess? Shit, does she? No, Milena. Milena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, uh, she's supposed to be, for the comics, the Iron Maiden. Is she really? So, yes. So, fair enough. Okay, you got my first question. So, you were paying a little bit of attention. Okay, this one is more related to the MacGuffin of the entire movie. Who made the red juice that frees the Black Widows? Uh, um, the Red Room. The Red Room. <laughs> the room Red itself. Rum. Red Rum. The Ray Winstone's character. I don't know what he. A f- f- bad Russian accent guy. He makes the red juice to free the girls. No, who makes it? Sh- I honestly don't know. That's because they never explained it. No one knows. They just said some older widow did it. There's no explanation. Nobody ever knows. So this MacGuffin Wait, really? they're chasing for half the movie, yes, is never explained. No one ever tells you. They just say, oh, yeah, some older widow uh, was working on the juice. I remember it explodes in, in Yelena's some girl's face. face. Yes. Then she becomes good poo. She gets the And then the good she poo. gives her poo to ScarJo's poo. And then people just keep trying to steal it throughout the movie. Okay. I thought... I thought, okay, I guess, yeah, that's true. I did not realize that. Yes. Okay, let's go to another question here. Why doesn't the Taskmaster speak? Because she's a woman and she needs to be allowed to speak. (laughs) But I just, for a villain, she doesn't, she doesn't talk at all. Isn't she a mute? Obviously a spoiler, but oh, well, the other point, I'll make a second point attached to this one. She's not a mute. She says something at the end of the movie. No, she doesn't. Yes, she does. She speaks at the end of the movie. No, she doesn't. Yes, she does. 100%. She has a line. She has one line of dialogue what in the movie. I, I tried to re-listen to it. I couldn't tell what she said. Oh, my God. Uh, the hard on. So she was barely being able to speak. So probably that's why she didn't speak. Mm, she spoke just fine. Okay. I mean, her face was a little melty, but yeah. did you know, did you know, though, that the Taskmaster was actually played by a man? In the entire the- movie, he was played by a man. 
Except, yeah, obviously. Obviously, she was a woman. Well, I know that, but played like, by a man. Them shoulders. And the walk. I think the walk gives it away more than anything. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Men we, walk differently than the females? Yeah, because we've got something dangling between our legs there. Oh, Kibbles that's and true. bits. Women don't walk that's like that. That's true. You could tell from his gait that it was a dude the whole time. In fact, there's one of those, you know how people make fun of uh, Infinity Wars for the floating head? Oh, yeah. There's yeah. a floating head mo- moment in this when they, re- when they take off her helmet and it's just Olga Kurilenko's head floating in space. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. yeah. Not, not, Task not so good. In the comics is, is a, a man. dude. Yeah, yes. okay. and talks, talks oh, plenty. He does? Yeah. So why would one of your main villains, especially a woman, not be allowed to talk? Huh. Hmm. Although Taskmaster, just a random side note, is a is a villain in the Spider-Man uh, Miles Morales game. Yeah, mm-hmm. he shows and up all over the place. Also, a woman though in that. Also a woman. Yeah. Wow. Is, um, so not super original. Yeah. All right. Okay, this is actually a t- kind of a two-part question, which is actually connected to the to the Marvel TV shows. Why does Black Widow get to murder all those people? Who did she murder? She murdered all of those people in the prison. Literally hundreds of prisoners and and maybe, you know, 100 prison guards. Like, I feel like they don't specify who died and who doesn't die. So I'm it's pretty fine. sure if an avalanche comes down, it would wipe all of those people out. Snow, you can climb through snow. Mm-hmm. That's what happens with I avalanches. Have... People survive them frequently. Yeah. If you're in, uh, like, all, all in the scene, they all went into the building, so I assume they're fine in the building. Oh, just have, buried in the building. Yeah. They have snackies and okay. snow melts, right? They could just eat each other. Ooh, they could. Uh huh. And then what about her mom? Her mom was literally the architect of all of those women being subjugated. Yet all she she doesn't even apologize for it. You know and in fact, she almost murdered a pig. That is true. Oh, yeah, that was fucked. I'm like, just, she's like, don't breathe. I'm like, what, what the fuck is this? So she in, she was instrumental in controlling all of these girls, full well knowing that those two girls that she raised were also black widows. Yet, just like Wanda in WandaVision, she gets to torture people and doesn't have to apologize or even go to jail for it. She gets nothing. Literally nothing. That is true. Everyone in this movie is kind of a dick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're not good people. No, they are not good people. Yeah, they okay. don't really address that. So I guess this will go to my last question for you. Just did they forget a scene at the end of the movie? What scene? So as they were, they they get together at the end. You know, they they five they they all fall from the flying sky castle, and nothing hits them. Yes, and nothing hits them. You know, Black Widow's indestructible. We didn't know that was her superpower, but it is. What about the fact that when they all get together, you see General Ross's troops coming in, and and Black Widow's like, "Go ahead, I got this," and then flash forward to her. Talking to the guy who gives her free stuff because he's in the friend zone. That is, I don't know what that was. I, like, was he in love with her? Did don't she give know. some to him? I don't know. Like, don't know. Yeah. They don't explain that either, do they? Who is he? <laughs> so what, what, did they, what did she do there? What happened? I, I, did they forget to put a scene in? Did she Black Widow General Ross? Well, do you want to know that the uh, press actually asked the director, did you in fact forget a scene there? And the director was like, well, not really. And they're like, well, do you know what happens? And they're like, like, "Mm, not really. We were just told not to film it. And, uh, you know, she used her, her smarts. She's SMRT and she got away from the U.S. government that was hunting her. The whole time. Yeah. Yeah. And then magically ends up with a brand new spaceship that she can fly off into Infinity Wars. That is true. I forget when she first shows up in Infinity War, but... She shows up with Cap. Remember when Cap reveals himself? Oh! When they're being attacked? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah, a Quinjet. Yeah. How did she find Cap? What the, that, none of that makes sense. They made more questions than they answered in this dark secrets <laughs> I also didn't really like the uh, they minimized the joke they had a really bad joke about the hysterectomies 
which is one of the defining characteristics of Black Widow. Like, she's been stripped of everything that makes her a woman on, in some level. Like, she's supposed to use her sexiness, right, as a femme fatale spy and seduce men and convince them to do whatever she wants. But then at the same time, she's been stripped of her womanhood and she has a very touching moment in Age of Ultron where she's in tears about it, explaining it to Mark Ruffalo. And then in this movie, they're just like, yeah, scoop them out. With ice cream scoops, not a big deal. Ovaries too. I don't take those baby batters. Yeah, I so I was just like, this movie, so I'm torn. Like, it seems like two different movies too. Like, they filmed all the action sequences and the director, in fact, the previous attached director left the movie specifically because she was told that, don't worry, you don't have to direct any of the action sequences. We'll have some other people do that for you. So basically, she only directed some of the small scenes, which I thought were the best scenes in the movie. The opening sequence was awesome. I thought that was real good. I thought the first third of the movie was good. And then kind of like when it takes off into the prison part, I was like, all right, this kind of sucks. Except for that I did like the conversation at the table when they were talking at the table. Yeah, the family. Yeah, yeah the conversation bits were good. And they were pretty well directed. But the action sequences were just like, why? Pooh was pretty funny, though. Why did Pooh fight? Black Widow. I family sibling rivalries. Don't know. They just try to kill each other. Yeah. Because just that's for That's what Black Widow's fun. That's how Black Widow say they love each other. And then other. they just like explode over and like the car gets exp her car Black Widow gets exploded like three or four times in this movie and nothing yeah. happens to her. She's wearing the vest. She's it's called plot armor. Yeah, plot armor. Oh, and then yes, the vest. The, we get the most perfect explanation for her wardrobe, her wardrobe choices in Infinity Wars. So, I mean, I, I needed that. Stylish and sentimental. It's the perfect combo. Perfect combo. Yeah. So, have, have I changed your mind? I still like that there was a whole lot of poo. There's no way it's top five. It's No, not top five. Like, She's six not a top or seven. Five. Six or seven? Are you, like, it's basically... It's okay. better than Captain Marvel. What if I told you that this is actually closer to X-Men Origins Wolverine because they did a Deadpool? They took a chatty character and then ruined him. Ta Taskmaster is basically... Ooh, so now we're going to get a Taskmaster uh, standalone movie where he talks and says quippy things. Yes. We're going to have to to correct the, the bastardized Taskmaster I'm in this. Game. I'm in for that. So you still like it? I still Even think Even though it's, there's an enormous oh, plot it's, holes. It's, it's completely... Stu I think it's stupid now, but I still enjoyed it. But it's the... It, of all the Marvel movies, like most Marvel movies don't have this many logical fallacies. It's better than Thor 2. Is it though? I don't know. I haven't seen Thor 2 in Thor a while. 2 is probably funnier. Uh... No, well, not I that this, this needed to be funny. I, I, I thought, thought... this was funny. It shouldn't have been funny. It should have been darker. I there's also real violent. I didn't like that. Like they showed like broken body parts, but then at the same time... Florence Pugh literally guts another Black Widow, and oh, then yeah. there's no blood whatsoever. It was Pretty inconsistent. Stupid. Yes. Yeah. Totally inconsistent. Totally incomprehensible. It's just a mediocre movie, and hopefully this is not more of what's coming from Marvel. I mean, I'm still going to buy it. I'll give it away wow. on the show. Wow. Wowie, 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 wow, zoo, wow. Black Widow for Black Widows. All right, so if you like what we do here, make sure you catch our live show, our live stream full-length podcast on 7.30 Eastern Standard Time, Fridays. Make sure you catch us, uh, our full-length audio podcast, which can be well, everywhere podcasts are. That's where we are. Every, every time you subscribe, you go to supporting my GoFundMe page because I am trying to buy seven lockets of Florence Pugh's hair and turn it into diamonds. One for each day of the week. You can, yes. Absolutely. You can actually turn hair to diamonds. I learned that on Big Bang Theory tonight. That's a real show. It is. Anyway, uh, from all of us here at Our Reviews Will Kill You to all of y'all at home, we love y'all. Thank you so much for watching, and we're on to the next one. Mm -hmm.